Hey guys, I just came back from Ken's Mojo Dojo Casa House and I got something in, in the mail actually last night. I didn't know until I until I woke up and checked my emails. But it was many, many months ago. And this thing cost me $75. And it's like a box within a box. But this was the most sought after figure that I was looking for when they announced these, these dolls for, from the, the Barbie movie. Which by the way, was my favorite movie of 2023. I don't care what the award people say. The Barbie movie was the best picture for me. But here it is guys, this is the Ken doll. And this is him wearing his, um, his uh, faux fur coat. And this boxing is really, is really insane. You got these lightning patterns down the side. Yeah, uh, so let's take this out of the box. But seriously, I'm pretty sure this box was meant to be displayed the way it is for collectors. But um, for you guys, because I'm making this video, I've got to take this out of the box. So let's try to open it without destroying it completely. But as you know, I make a lot of promises that I don't actually keep. So I think it's easy to slide right out of this box. Stuck on something down here. Whoa, I almost destroyed Barbie's dream car. So on the back you can see there's a base with the certificate of authenticity. But I'm pretty sure this isn't fake. Oh, this this fur part feels really it feels authentic. It's no wonder this thing was what 75 bucks plus tax. These inserts are coming right out without me having to, to rip it. Oh, I think part of the coat was attached to it though. So again, here is the certificate of authenticity and it's kind of a cheap piece of paper. Here is the, the base for it, which we can uh, construct really fast. All right, I just removed all the little things that, that keep his uh, accessories in place. And it was a lot to remove, but man, he looks great. And uh, before I go into him, let's look at the fur coat. This coat is actually really thick and feel it. Oh my gosh, it's actually really thick too. Very fluffy. On the inside, it's got his awesome horse that he loves so much about the, about the real world. Um, but yeah, this is a really thick uh, material here. And as for the, uh, the doll itself, um, it's a standard, you know, Ken doll basically. Um, his hair is uh, gelled. He's got this really awesome bandana that you see in the movie. He's got the Ken uh, fanny pack, which I believe I can remove. Yep, on the back, there is this thing here with uh, openings where I could just take it off if I wanted to, but I'm not going to. And he's got these gloves on, which makes him look really rad. He's got this little uh, uh, necklace. What's on the necklace? It's got a horse um, on, on the pendant right there. His pants have some pretty good detail. It's got the lightning patterns down, down both sides. And he's got these really cool looking, looking boots here, which you can easily remove if you wanted to. Um, but let's go ahead and put the, the fur coat on him because that's what really makes this, uh, this, this outfit stand out in the movie. We'll get him in place so we can, uh, we can drape his, uh, his fur coat over him. I'm, I'm a little worried because his shoulders aren't that broad on this doll. So I don't know if it's gonna stay like it does in the movie. It's supposed to be like that. I don't know if you can see his face right now, but it is staying on. Let me see, yeah, you, you can could, you could kind of see his face. And, oh man, this, this is a great look. Because honestly, in the movie, this is probably my favorite looking uh, costume for Ken. Um, for Barbie, it's, it's hard to say. I think Barbie has a lot of great looking costumes, but for Ken, this is like the standout. I turned my spotlight on so you can see the details better because this fur coat's so big, it casts a lot of shadow over his uh, torso. Um, but yeah, yeah, this looks absolutely fantastic. Easily, the for me, my favorite costume for Ken in the movie. Probably second place would be his, uh, his black uh, uh, Western outfit. Um, yeah, I guess the trick is uh, is to get the coat to stay on without it falling off. I'm sure you could put like a maybe a little uh, elastic band over here to to really make it secure. But right now it, it's staying on pretty pretty well. And if you put it on display, it's not going to matter unless you like run into the uh, display case. 
But it's cool, like when you look inside the, the fur coat, you got the little um, horse patterns there. That's something I don't think I actually, um, uh, you, you know, recognized when I was watching the movie. But there's tons of little horse patterns here. So, freaking absolutely fantastic costume. Even without the fur coat, this, this costume uh, stands out really, really well. And let's try to put it on again without, without it falling off. Again, it's a little tricky getting it on the first time, but once you get it on, it kind of stays in place. It's kind of falling off his shoulder, I think. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's just because his shoulders are a little, a little narrow, so you can kind of do it like that. But yeah, um, seventy-five dollars. Uh, that, that's that's quite the uh, the price tag for this figure. But if you're a collector and you like the movie, then I don't think money is going to be an issue for you. Uh, easily the most iconic look for, for Ken in that movie. But uh, what, what do you guys think of this, this figure from the movie? Are you, guys, are you guys big into the movie? And if you're just a fan of Barbies in general, do you like the, uh, the dolls that are coming out from the movie? Because I, I'm actually not a Barbie collector, but I am a Barbie movie doll collector, if that makes sense. Um, but I know a lot of you are more old school and you guys go way back to you know, collecting dolls before the movie came out. And I don't know what you guys think of these of these of this new line of dolls. Like I think they're freaking awesome.